Dear students, welcome back to another video and in today's video we will see one of the most unique organism that is found on our planet and it cannot be classified in any kingdom. By the way, if you want to see fashion classification of vertigo, then you can check its link in the description. Just play it and enjoy that video and learn. So let's start today's video. So that unique organism is virus. I hope that you're familiar with this virus. This is coronavirus. Okay. So if you look at the etymology of this word, then virus uh, is derived from a word, virin, that means poison. And why is it poison? Because it hurts the body of its host. So we'll learn more about it. Let's start the video. So if you look at this sort of virus, then this is acellular or non-cellular since it doesn't possess any cellular structure but because of the presence of DNA or RNA as a structure it is considered as living organism however it is obligate parasite what is obligate parasite uh, let me explain it to you obligate parasite is that parasite that needs a host's body to complete its life cycle Otherwise, it cannot replicate itself and it cannot produce its offspring. So, if you look at the structure of the virus, then it is very simple. It has got nuclear material in the form of DNA or RNA, and that nuclear material is protected inside a protein coat that is made up of capsomeres and it is known as capsid. Okay, so I just told you that a virus is a parasite, so it causes different diseases. In different organisms like plants like animals even in the bacteria so you'll see a few diseases here TMD tobacco mosaic disease this disease is caused by tobacco mosaic virus in plants so this is the tobacco mosaic disease as you can see the leaves are deprived there chlorophyll and they are getting brown yellowish patterns on their leaf structure so this is tobacco mosaic disease besides this you're familiar with this uh, uh, the diseases that are caused in animal bodies just because of the virus they are cold flu dengue polio hepatitis and AIDS so different viruses cause these diseases well this is bacteriophage virus if you look then uh, in its structure it has got dna this is its head portion uh, and this uh, dna is surrounded by uh, the protein coat that is capsid and has got neck collar sheath and there is a base plate and around it there are tail fibers so when the virus replicates its dna then it transfers its code to these tail fibers in the host cells and thereby infecting the hosts and cause different types of diseases. So uh, that is it. Still, if you have any question about it, then feel free to ask in the comments. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. It means a lot. Thank you.